Hey guys, good morning. It is 8.37. We are headed to Girl Scout camp. This girl's leaving me! I am not leaving her. I'm just... <laughs> it's just for the week and she's not going overnight. Um, we're doing the Splish, Splish Splash Week and she gets to do lots of fun things. So she has to be there by 9 and... So I thought I would just take her, Andres is off today, so he's taking Maddie, and I wanted to take her, I have to turn in some paperwork, like immunization shots and things like that, and then I brought her vest because the Girl Scout shop is where we're going, and I need to pick up my Daisy leadership book, and my Brownie leadership book, and I need to pick up pins for her. I also need to get Maddie her uniform, so, I just figured I'll take her drop her off the first day to see what kind of what's going on, exactly what she needs. The instructions were for her to bring shoes and I don't even know if she needs her Girl Scout vest. So, you know, today I'm just trying, trying to feel it out because it's the rest of the week, all day. She'll be there Monday through Friday all day. So that'll be kind of different. School starts next week for her. So exciting. <laughs> She's actually really excited. Mommy's excited too. So anyway, we were up bright and early this morning and once again, I didn't go to bed till super late last night. Like 1.45 late. I need to get in a better routine, especially now that school is coming back up because, I mean, we're going to have to be up at like 6.30, 7 o'clock, like 6.30 probably every morning because her school time is a little different and it's further out. So we're gonna have to kind of adjust to that, like driving in school traffic out further. So we'll see, you know, I don't know. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to put myself in a school bedtime. And she's off. <laughs> that was a pretty smooth process. They gave her a really cute hot pink shirt. Um, this week they're doing a splish splash field day at the Girl Scout. Um, like at Camp Metro and so they get to do lots of water activities and they learn about all kinds of animals in the wild and all kinds of things. Um, she originally wanted to do I think a science one because they're each week has a different theme but we missed it. It was the week that I think it was science stem or it was it was Maybe it was this actual scientist week. I don't know. Anyway, she wanted to do that one originally. And then we, like I said, missed it. It was the week that we came back from Disney. So instead she wanted to do this week and it just so happened to be the week before school starting. And so we're going out with a bang. <laughs> She's really excited though. I was like, you want me to walk me back? She's like, I'm fine. What the heck? They're, the girl next to us was crying for her mom. So she was really excited and again just like a really big thank you to all of you guys that supported her and bought cookies during cookie season because of you guys and all the hard, hard work she put in she got to go to camp for free which is awesome she sold over 1200 boxes of cookies and she was just super I mean elated to be able to go so tomorrow I need to make sure she can bring um, I saw girls with backpacks because you know a lot of the girls had already been there they had already gone to camp like throughout the week and probably next year since Maddie will be in Girl Scouts too I'll probably sign them up for more I only this year did the one that she got for free it's a little on the expensive side but it seems so worth it they feed them breakfast and lunch and a snack and they're there from nine to four so that's kind of a good thing for them like I could even send them on opposite weeks probably not Maddie's first week she probably would want to be with Emmy but I could send them on opposite weeks so that they can get a break from each other during the summer as well and mama can get a break and not hear the fighting the bickering the screaming you know like that's as much as I'm going to miss them and I'll probably I'll feel super lonely once they all go back to school but they bicker and I'm I know it's not just my kids and I, I have seen everyone complain about their kids fighting and eating everything in the house and you know they're really good about not saying I'm bored or anything like that but 
they I know they get bored because they constantly want something else to do and here it's so hot it's way too hard to play outside like at all hours of the day or go swimming at all hours of the day like some of the pools don't even open until 1 2 p.m. because it's hot so anyway we'll see how it goes I'm really excited for her now I'm headed over to the YMCA to make sure Maddie gets in the correct swim class because when I signed her up they weren't sure she was the first one to sign up for the class I guess because school's right around the corner so I wasn't exactly sure if the class was going to move, be moved or not but I have my coffee today because mama needs it I'm tired I woke up tired I it'll take everything in me not to take a nap today <laughs> so we'll see how the day goes okay I'm back over at my grandma's house and seriously, like looking at old pictures is some of, one of my favorite things to do. My grandma has album after album after album, I mean everywhere, full of pictures of her, of us, of my mom, Nin. I mean the whole extended family. But look at this. That's me. I'm trying to find a picture because yeah, tell me this does not look like Autumn. Okay, put those over there, Maddie. Just set them down on the floor. I saw a picture earlier that's at my mom's house right now. Hey, mommy, oh my gosh, that's crazy. This is mommy. But, man, I found a picture. I'll have to go back. Oh, no. oh yeah. <laughs> it's not working. Found a picture earlier. I wonder if the other one is my brother. Yeah. Oh my god, look at my brother. Hey, <laughs> Juby. <laughs> OMG, look at that. Oh, it was this picture, but it was blown up. Look, my grandparents had a pool. Oh, oh my grandpa. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at that. Is that you, Mommy? That is. I don't, I barely Wait, remember Mommy. that. Oh, uh, yeah, there I am again. Yep. Okay, look at my grandma and grandpa. Oh my gosh, look at my brother and me. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, look at Nin. Dang. Sorry, Nin, if you're watching this. She hates what, looking at pictures of herself. Okay, let me show you the one. Let me see where it is. This one. Like, first off, I still have that dress at home. But doesn't that look like Autumn? Mm -hmm. She just doesn't. She has darker hair and a little bit darker skin tone than I do. But Ooh, look at my brother. Mom, look at all these pictures. Huh? I found a whole bunch of old pictures. Wow, all of us. Look at those teeth. Woo, no wonder I had braces for so long. Huh? I'm just looking at old pictures. Oh, look, this is my grandma and grandpa on their wedding day. Do you have an album? Yeah. It's my grandma. Oh my gosh, but I just thought this was funny. I saw another picture the other day. Doesn't that look like Autumn? Now, as it get a little bit older, it starts to look like Maddie. Like, as I'm a toddler and a little bit older, Maddie's, I can see the resemblance of Maddie, of, of me in Maddie. But th that, to me, looks exactly like Autumn. What's up, everybody? Just want to say hi. Okay, I thought I would show you guys. Oh! <laughs> Let's read and sing together. Let's read and sing together. Let's read and sing together. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, so I left my grandma lots of storage space. She's got like things for papers here, things for papers here. I left her a cork cor a cork board. A cork board. She has um, the desk that has my grandpa's, some of my grandpa's special things in it. And this uh, is a roll desk. So I put her envelopes here and then you can actually shut this if you don't want to see that. I put all of her organizational stuff here as far as office supplies. Down here she has extra notebooks, extra supplies. 
this is like drastically different. She has a clock and some another organizational with some calculators and a uh, dry erase board, a magazine holder, magazine holder. This thing she really wanted to keep, so I kept it in here for her and I organized it. We have batteries and an empty basket for room to grow, I guess. Pins, pencils, extra like um, lead and markers and things. Her crossword puzzles and the crossword puzzle dictionary. This one, she has extra notebooks and extra little notebooks. She loves to doodle and just, she had a lot. This one was empty. This one has my grandpa's special stuff in it. She has like old bells in this one. And then his Swiss army knives in that one. So I kept that here for her. A chair, that was in her kitchen. So we left it in here in case she wanted it. This stuff has um, just different things. Like I put pic old pictures in there, CDs and cassette tapes in here, old recipe books in there. And then in her closet, I actually think we're going to take the doors off because I think it'll open up the area and it'll give her more access to everything. But look at all those records. <laughs> she's got little records. I don't know that much about records, but she's got like vinyls here. And then the, mom, what are the little records called? Um, 45. What are the big ones called? Uh, uh, I don't know, albums? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, so those are 45s, and then these are the bigger ones. Nothing over here. And then this she had over here, and I ch I uh, changed it into her wrapping station for Christmas stuff and holiday cards and, and sympathy cards, thank you cards, stuff like that. So she has tape, bows, ribbon, shirt boxes up here. This one has Christmas cards here, and then this is, I have, my mom's working on it right now, assorted like thank you, birthday, sympathy, get well soon cards. She had a ton, so we're going through them and making sure the envelope matches the card, blah, blah, blah. This is tissue paper. I know it's getting dark, but this is bags, Christmas and otherwise, both bags and things like that. Wrapping paper here. We have one box of toys for the girls over here. And then on this side, we have important paper. She has like a travel puzzle thing, the thing that sits in your lap, it's a hard surface. Her leaf, that goes to her dining room table. She wanted to keep a couple picture boxes, so I kept the prettiest ones. <laughs> I was tempted to take them because they're all really pretty, especially that one, but I didn't. She had some um, extra candles and a bath set for gifts, so I left that there. She also have curtains that need to be put up when she gets back. And this literally is like a complete different room when you walked in I mean you guys kind of saw it the other day it was filled with stuff and so we reorganized decluttered and I'm so excited for my grandma we got the best news too she gets to come home on Wednesday so we kind of had to like hustle through it but we did mom got all of her papers and stuff done where did you find those from you can have a couple go ahead for helping <laughs> anyway we got some really great news my grandma gets to come home on Wednesday instead of Thursday so when mom called and said that I was like oh I gotta stay here until I finish everything because she's coming home so we also took Andres and I are going to come over tomorrow and pull the things from the garage that she wants Nin to sell for her and we're taking them to mom's backyard um, the patio so that Nin can sell them at her own pace and when my grandma comes home everything's clear she had blankets and stuff in the dining room. We took those out, so it looks good. I'm gonna put a bag in her trash can. We have cleaning ladies coming tomorrow to deep clean the house, and she'll be home Wednesday. So it was a long ride, but we got everything done, and I'm super proud of it. It looks amazing, and I hope my grandma comes home and she's very, very happy. Good night, see you tomorrow. And Daddy. Good night, see you tomorrow. Boop. And Adam. Good night. See you tomorrow. We are home from all activities. It is 9.09. .09. Everyone's in bed. Actually, they've Autumn went to bed, mm, I don't know, maybe around 8 because she needed a bath, so she went to bed a little bit later. And the big girls went to bed probably about 20, 30 minutes ago. School for Emmy starts next week. Maddie starts the week after. 
week and a half after so we need to get back into school bedtime i actually saw this thing on facebook that talked about what time your kids should go to bed depending on how old they are and what time they wake up in the morning and according to their age i think emmy's bedtime was like 8 or 8 15 and maddie's was 7 45 like they weren't that far off from each other autumn's was the furthest i think hers was like 7 15 or 7 30 something like that it just depends on what time they wake up but when school starts like there's a week and a half where emmy's going to be in school maddie won't be in school and then maddie will start school and then there'll be like two weeks and then autumn will start preschool oh this is so sad because i have to wait till she turns two so that she can be in the preschool room and not the daycare portion of it so i'm just like I'm going to be going back to work more like I I really wanted this is probably I totally didn't even want to talk about this life change but I really wanted to leave Autumn home a little bit longer but she needs some sort of schooling in her life I mean she just does she's struggling a lot with her words like I was looking back on videos um, even from like April she was saying some of the same words she's saying now and she really hasn't included much more she just does not have a lot of verbal skills at all she's got plenty of you know for instance i was looking at a video of maddie which i know every child's different it's hard to compare i get that but maddie was 22 months because it was you know like one month ago i mean however many years ago but Maddie's birthday is in October and Autumn's is in September. So um, it, she was 22 months, whereas Autumn is now 23 months. And her and, and Emmy were doing um, flashcards. Oh, he's, he's letting Bill out to go potty. I was like, who's he talking to? Um, they were doing flashcards. And it's so cute because Emmy was like, five and a half like just a little bit older than what maddie is now and she was just learning not even to read but like associate words with pictures you know so they were the kind of flashcards where it had a big letter like let's say x and then it had a picture next to it and then so for x it was a xylophone and then it had um the word xylophone at the bottom so Emmy didn't know how to read that word, but she knew what the picture was and what the letter was. So she was holding, if I can insert it here, I will. But she was holding the card up and saying, P, piano. And Maddie would be like, P, piano. Like she would parrot it, the entire thing, even down to hard words like xylophone. And I don't know what else she said. The video has a whole bunch of different uh, letters in it, but she did a whole lot. Autumn doesn't repeat at all. She doesn't, she fixates on whatever she wants and she doesn't, she won't repeat what you're saying. And even when, you know, like we sing every day, we read books, we play games and she just doesn't, it, and it's because her sisters are here with her all the time. She screams, they give her what she wants instead of forcing her to use her words, she doesn't. So she needs interaction outside of them. And I honestly feel like it'll get even worse once they go to school if I leave her at home with me. So I feel more comfortable putting her in at two because she'll go to the preschool side of things. So they have little workbooks and of course they sing and do different things like that too but they they have more structure than just being in the toddler room so that's exciting and then once she's potty trained she can actually go to the two and a half to three year old group which is even more like maddie will be in the pre-k group which has four and five year olds and so she will be at like at an actual pre like not at preschool anymore she'll be at in pre-k and autumn will be in preschool but it's so sad i mean it's not something that i really honestly I'm, i've been torn about it the entire summer i really wanted her to, le to leave her home with me but she's just i don't want her to continue to stay behind 
So we made the decision to go ahead and put her in preschool, which is why she needs school supplies and she needs a backpack and she needs all those things. So I know once she goes, she'll have so much fun because when we put her in the child watch area at the YMCA, she loves it. Like to the point where if they're singing old, old McDonald songs or whatever songs they're singing or they're doing music time or whatever, she does not want to get up and come with us she wants to stay so i know she'll have a lot of fun and it'll allow me to kind of get some of my own time back to focus more on youtube on etsy and i am going back to work more i actually just put in my schedule for so this is going into effect emmy starts school the 16th maddie starts the 27th autumn starts the 10th of september so I have about a week and a half left for Emmy. I have three weeks left for Maddie and five weeks for Autumn before they'll all be in school. So in five weeks, they'll all be in school and I will completely be alone. So that week of the 10th, I am scheduled three days. And then the next week I'm scheduled one day, but I have two available like on-call shifts. And then the following week I'm scheduled three shifts again. So here's how that changes things for you guys so don't get you know we still have a whole entire month before this is even going to happen but i kind of want to give you a heads up as to how it's going to work because i've been thinking a lot about this and let me know what you guys think down below as far as scheduling wise clearly i'm not going to be able to upload no i take that back vlog every single day because i will be at work and most of the days that I am scheduled, Andres will also be at work. I tried to kind of schedule it. The problem is, is he doesn't get his schedule that far in advance. You know, I mean, they make it on a monthly basis. So he won't know what he will be working probably until later in August, all of September. So I tried to kind of schedule myself around days that he is typically working so that when he's off, we can actually spend time together. That's another thing. I love having the girls at home, but him and I really haven't had a lot of time to just spend one-on-one. -on -one. Like, I probably should be down there watching TV with him because he works all day tomorrow, you know? So, it'll be nice for him and I to be able to run errands throughout the week. If he's off or he goes to work later or whatever, we can spend a little bit of time together before I have to get to work or he has to get to work or before the girls are home. We can have a day date, you know, and then just focus when they get home on, from school, focus on them. They have a lot of things going on anyway. I signed up Maddie for um, Little Dribbler, like a basketball clinic at the YMCA. It's once a week, and she, I gave her the option of basketball, soccer, or to stay in ballet, and she said she wanted to try basketball. So we're, ballet is over in two weeks anyway. Um, we're going to try basketball. Emmy's going to stay on the shark swim team and uh, they're both going to back to girls so emmy's going back to girl scouts and maddie is joining girl scouts which is awesome so we will be busy busy with lots of things pretty much monday through thursday after school they'll have something and then girl scout meetings are going to be saturdays once once a month on saturday and then we'll have like one girl scout event per month on a different saturday so we're going to be super busy just in general plus homework and emmy's going to be in third grade so i know her homework load and everything is going to be higher and i feel like i'm going to be pulled in a million different directions working more but in reality they're all in private care like they're in private preschool private pre-k and private school for emmy and it's costly so i have to go back to work a little bit more and because of that I am I am willing to sacrifice that time so that they can get the education that they deserve, but it's going to come at a vlogging cost. So here's what here's what I'm thinking. On the days that I have put myself like on call available, it's not really on call because I don't get paid. I just put that I'm available that day so they can call me in the morning if they need me. I only put myself on for an eight hour shift. So some days now, I don't even start vlogging until the afternoon. <laughs> so, you know, I can vlog in the morning before I go to work and vlog when I get home. And then I'll be home in plenty of time to upload a vlog from the previous day. So those days aren't a big deal. 
the days that I'm actually at work, I'm no longer going to vlog because the girls are going to be in school unless it's a weekend where my mom or Nin or Andres have them just like they do now. They can vlog during the day and that way you guys can still see some content. But on the other days, I'm just going to go through my day with you guys, you know. So I will no longer be daily vlogging, but it'll be pretty much daily vlogging. And we'll see how it goes because I really want to dedicate more time to my beauty channel again and provide more content for you guys and get back into my Etsy shop again. I haven't really been able to do much with it all summer because... Of just how things have gone it's been so busy i haven't been able to concentrate with the girls here so if i can get back into those things and it can supplement like it was before i can i don't have to work as much you know to cover the costs of school so that's probably way too much info you most of you probably don't even carry and all you hear is no more daily vlogging and i'm sorry about that but it's just a different change it's a life change for us, you know? And then I figure we'll do this for a little while and see how it goes. And if I don't like the routine, the great thing about it is Maddie's not obligated to be in school. Neither is Autumn. They're, neither one of them are obligated to be to school until kindergarten as per Texas law. So if it's not working out and I feel like I made a mistake or I just don't see improvement or they're not adjusting as well. I'm not really worried about Maddie, but mainly Autumn. If she's not adjusting as well or whatever's going on, it's a simple withdrawal. It's not a big deal, you know? And so that's, that's where we're at. I hope, you know, you guys understand and you can get behind me and support our decisions and I just, you know, I feel like this is what's best for our family right now. And then we'll see. Maybe in the future, if we have another little Mendoza baby. I don't know that that'll happen yet. But if it does, things may change again. Because I want to be able to stay home with that baby. So, it may be... I've been able... I've been really lucky and blessed to stay home the majority of the time with Autumn. Keep, I kept her out of daycare until she turned two. Now she's going to preschool like... I have been blessed because Maddie had to go into daycare. She was nine and a half months because I had to work full time. And so nine and a half months, that's still a lot later than most people get to put their kid in daycare. So I've been, I feel very fortunate for having a little bit of time with them. But I feel like at this point in our lives, I need to focus more on other things and get other things accomplished, like continuing to work to pay for other things but not only that to continue to pay off the little bit of debt we have left and to continue to move on towards a bigger and better house and things like that so we'll see I don't know we'll see what's to come I guess but right now that's kind of what my prediction of the next month and a half is going to be and I definitely will keep you guys updated as time goes by if something is changing or if I'm tweaking things to work more for our schedule. We'll see because school's really expensive. Like for them to go to these schools is expensive. So if I can't keep up the demand, another hard thing is, is I get put on call at work a lot. And especially now these are extra shifts for me because I'm only supposed to, I only have to work one shift a week all the extra shift all the other shifts are extra so I will be the first one to be put on call and sent home so that's a little nerve-wracking too so we'll kind of play it by ear I'm not quite ready to go back to work a hundred percent full-time like fully committed because I want to be able to back out if I can but I also want to be able to give you guys more content just in general those of you that have been subscribed to my beauty channel for years and years and years and it's been just like vacant forever I want to get back into those things I want to get back into Etsy I loved creating stickers it made me so happy I loved cutting them and I just fell off the bandwagon so I want to get back into all of that now that I've rambled for 15 minutes like I said I hope you guys you know can be supportive and I get, don't get too much backlash for life decisions and things like that um that's probably not something i should be worried about but the unfortunate part is with being on any type of social media influencer at all um backlash is part of it so we'll see but anyway <laughs> on a good note i am planning i got 
all my planning done for the week. A little late today, but that's okay. I at least wanted to get the majority of it written down on paper. And again, I'm trying to get a feel for this hourly planner. The more I plan in it, in it the more I kind of feel like I should have gone with a vertical. I hate to say that because I really love the hourly planner, but I have watched so many hourly planner videos and I just cannot plan like them. I think I just spit everywhere. I just can't plan like them. Like all my stuff seems to run together. And then I watch people like living the wife life and she loves hourly and hers is beautifully done. And clearly like when you look at it from afar, it clearly looks like everything's laid out perfectly. I don't know what the heck happened to mine, but anyway, like I said, I've been bam bambling, babbling way too long. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and update and um, enjoyed the update and all of that good stuff. The vlog's uploaded. I'm going to spend some time with my honey bunny before bed. We'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow. I'm going to start it all over.